<laughs> I'd like to expose Mike to that song. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> He's the Boomer. <laughs> And on that note, welcome to ICBTS. I'm Kyle, that's Brett. Today we hey. have another episode of What Annoyed Kyle This Week or Pissed Off Kyle. I don't know. I, I, I don't, what transgressed what, Kyle what, this week? What made Kyle turn his phone off and go do something else this week? That's really what this should be titled. <laughs> that's a long... Because <laughs> that's, that's really what it is. It's really not like what... What made me so angry that I'm just... Yeah, it's really it's, just what made me kind of do this. Click. <laughs> All right, what should I be doing right now? <laughs> what um, broke your train of thought? Yes. So what am, What are we talking about today? Uh, the, there's been a, a meme that's caught fire on the internet of, of millennials and Gen Zers saying, okay, boomer. When, uh, whatever, there's a lot of scenarios where that could be a thing. Mostly Infinite related to scenario. to stupid memes that get shared by boomers. Mm-hmm. You know you know what I'm talking about. Memes about how kids are addicted to technology and, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, it's funny. I've enjoyed the memes, you know, uh, going around. But the, the problem becomes, and I think this is indicative of the left in general. The problem is that it's They take meme. things too seriously, I think. Mm-hmm. And then they try to turn something that's like a joke into something serious and then it's not funny anymore and it's stupid and then everybody's mad you killed the meme right you killed the joke yeah like i feel like the people the dude at the party who like when when somebody's telling a joke and then you know they they say they just totally kill the joke those are the people who end up being far leftists that's (laughs) just inherently that quality about you makes you go to the far left anyway why because that's what they do with everything they kill the fun. They kill the joke. You can't make jokes about anything. That's why the whole, you oh, cancel yeah. culture, all that stuff. Yeah, it's exactly mm-hmm. what it is. Kill all the fun. Hey, I just made a billion dollars because I started this company, Amazon. We don't like that. <laughs> right? That can't we, continue. We can't, ha- can't let that happen. We got to take all that money. Mm-hmm. That, it's all it's all comes from the same thing. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Point is, so I saw this very... Li- I, I didn't screenshot it. I'm not going to put it up here because it was pretty long-winded, but it was a, a repost of a tweet or... Couldn't have been a tweet because there's way too many characters, but whatever. A repost of something going through this whole OK Boomer thing, right? And I was like, okay, you just Analyzing turned a funny yeah, like you just turned a funny meme into a long-winded diatribe, and now I'm annoyed. Like the people that take college classes that show up that are like Zombie Apocalypse 101, where it's not fun anymore. Yes, <laughs> right. Mmm. <laughs> So anyway, like I was saying, the government. Whoa. I mean, that's usually it's where we are typically. But yeah. actually in this case, I don't think it is. Um, anyway, so yeah, I was going to talk about what it actually said. I hadn't quite gotten there yet. So it was basically a long-winded diatribe about this OK Boomer meme. And basically explaining it from a millennial's point of view, right? That's what it was billed as, right? Like because because we because, need that because the boomers are getting so annoyed by this, you know, and the, it was trying to explain to the boomers why we're saying this, basically, right? Why? And it was basically a long "woe is me" diatribe about how millennials are just so it's 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 about exhaustion. We're just so exhausted by being constantly told by the boomers that we. Uh, that we're entitled and we don't work hard enough and we're lazy and 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 just basically going on this woe is me rant about how hard millennials lives are lives are because they made a bunch of bad decisions and got a bunch of student loan debt and how oh there's no jobs and we only make this minimum wage and we can't buy how all the all and that's what's funny because it was it was talking about all the tropes about about millennials about how like oh we get blamed for everything how we destroy the the uh, uh, Applebee's and <laughs> you know uh, we 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 destroyed the fit the uh, the sheet market because millennials don't use top sheets and like all this <laughs> stuff which is which is all like sort of true like there are a lot of articles about that but it's like dude if the hardest thing in your life is that people blame you for killing Applebee's like really I think you're fine I think you're fine. Yeah, and who cares? And like, yeah, this woe is me. Like, oh, jobs are so hard and they can't make money. It's like, dude, you understand that right now there's the lowest unemployment rate in like 60 years, mm-hmm. right? We Like everything is amazing right now. 
The economy is though, great. Yeah, and even though all these people are employed, there's still jobs that need to be filled. Right, like people are h- actively hiring. Like, it, the fact that you can't get a job because you have no skills and want to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour because you refuse to garner new skills is your own fault, right? So what am I getting at with all this, right? So basically it was this long-winded diatribe about this OK Boomer meme and equating it to like, we're just so sick of hearing all these things from our parents and our uncle at Thanksgiving and all these, you know, and, and it's the equivalent of just saying, yeah, whatever, mom, like that kind of thing. And so what, so let me just interpret what is being said here. What, what you're saying is I'm a millennial. My Everyone around me, adults, have been telling me my whole life that I'm lazy and entitled and I'm sad and depressed and I can't find uh, you know, a real job and all this stuff my whole life. And they've been telling me my whole life, you need to work harder. You need not be so lazy. You need to go. Giving me all this really good advice. And, yet. <laughs> and I've been refusing to listen to it my whole life. Uh-huh. And now I'm in my mid to late 20s, early 30s potentially, and... I'm still sad. I'm still depressed. I still can't find a job. I still, I still have, have massive amounts skills. of debt. I still have no discernible skills. And because I didn't listen to any of the advice I've been given, and now I'm just exhausted. And I just can't take the advice anymore. So my response, and because now I'm 25 to 30, and, well, okay, in a lot of cases, you're probably still living with your parents, but... For those of you that aren't, you can't just say whatever mom anymore because now all of a sudden it seems like everyone around you is saying that. It's <laughs> saying to work harder. It's saying to work harder <laughs> and stop being so lazy and entitled. Mm-hmm. And so your response is to just say, okay, boomer, because that's the only response you can come back with because you can't say, no, look at all these skills that I have because if you could say that, then you, you'd have a job. You'd and have a job and be making legitimately this, more money and, and be. Probably happier. This would not be addressed in the first place. Right, and you're probably alone because you spent your whole life thinking, I'm going to do me. And now you're 30 years old and you don't have a boyfriend slash girlfriend and you don't know what to do with your life because you've been told your whole life that you were amazing and someone's just going to come along and love you for who you are. And you don't have to do anything to improve yourself or make anything better. You don't have to actually try in your life. You are just a gold star all on your own. Everyone around me is toxic. It's not me. Right. No. The answer to your question is, you're, yeah, you're going to remain sad and depressed and saying, okay, boomer, for the rest of your life until you figure out that the only way to improve your life is to go out and actively make it better. And it's not the government's fault that you can't get a job. And it's not anyone else's fault that you can't find you know, the work that you want. It's because you refuse to do the things that the older generation has been trying to tell you to do. And I'm not saying that the older generation is always right. Mm-hmm. They're bad with technology. They don't <laughs> understand how a phone works. Right. You show them a meme and they're like, oh, what is that, that one mean? of those May Mays? <laughs> right? Yeah. They say a lot of dumb things. Let's say like a lot of the OK Boomer memes are funny and accurate. But to sit here and try and equate that to like... Oh, it just our lives are so hard, and they just mm-hmm. don't understand it. Is just sheer utter insanity. Yeah. And I read that, and I I literally couldn't even finish it. I read like half because it was like it was like this long. Whoa. Like, and I read like half of it, and I was like, and you I your phone. can't do this anymore. And I turned my phone on if I went and play Minecraft. Yeah, I think for me the long and short of it is my one of my favorite. I it's a saying and a piece of advice where. If everything around you smells like shit, check your own shoe. Check your own shoe. And I, I just, the first time I heard that, I just kind of, I, I laughed. And then I really thought about what that means. And then I realized, wow, yeah, that applies to some of my life. Yeah. And I, it, it, as funny as that phrase is, it made me kind of look at myself and right. change some things that worked a lot better for right. me. Like, I think if I could leave you with anything with this video is that you suck. (laughs) Straight up. I suck. Brett sucks. I suck. Everybody (laughs) sucks. We all suck a lot. Mm -hmm. And the only thing you can do is try to make yourself suck a little less every day. Mm -hmm. And then you will find that in... And that's the thing. It's like everybody knows this inherently, but we refuse to accept it Mm -hmm. in a lot of cases, right? It's like I struggle with, you know, I, 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 working out. Like that's my biggest mm-hmm. struggle. I try to like, you know, lose weight. And I know inherently like and, and, I, and I, you have those lucid moments where I'm like, man, 
I had the thought that I should start working out six months ago. And if I had just done it and stuck with my plan that I wanted to do six months ago, right now, here I am six months in the future, I would probably be at least significantly to where I'd like to be. But instead, I didn't, and the time continued to pass anyway, mm -hmm. and now here I am in the same spot I was, right? Yep. It's, the same, it's the same logic. If you just sit there and say, woe is me, stop yelling at me, whatever, you're just going to be in the same place you are, and that's exactly Nothing what happened. Changes. The millennials mm -hmm. are all in this perpetual state of adolescence. Where somebody else needs to fix it for me. Right, because that's how... You know, and when I say millennials, it's funny. Millennials is almost taking on a different because you know that's a generational. That that's all the kids between this age, you know, that year and that year, whatever. But it's almost becoming different than that because I think millennial actually is more specific than that. I think millennial, like it's now, is taking on a exactly is an attitude. It's taking on a connotation of the the sort of you know middle class to upper middle class kids. Who who grew up in the in the '90s when everything was amazing, mm -hmm. and you know uh, had you know in this area at least had parents that probably had you know jobs in the automotive industry that were making a lot of money, and everything was booming and everything was great. Gas prices were low, economy was awesome, and basically got given everything they could possibly want. And their parents who grew up before that when things were legitimately a lot harder <laughs> and wanted to give their children all the nice things that they never got to have. And then that ruined an entire generation. Mm -hmm. Participation trophies. Right. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I guess that's a, a somewhat, it was just, I, I just read things like that. And yeah, I just want to walk away. I'm like, I'm, I just, I can't talk to these people mm -hmm. who, who repost things like this and think like, yeah, got them. Yeah. Read this. Oh my God. Like, no, go away. Stop it. Get some help. Get some help. We need, need some can milk. we clip that in here? Because we really need to use that more often. That's a lot of work. Oh, my God. See? <laughs> Typical millennial. <laughs> anyway, that's ICBTS. Shoot uh, Phoenix ammo. Don't put Twinkies on your pizza. Check your out. shoes.